The circular fill applies the objects in a circular fashion and objects are placed on a circular grid. There are three parameters that can be changed in object properties. The horizontal spacing defines the distance between the imaginary rectangles that surround the object. If I swipe across the value and enter a new number and press enter, the array updates. The start angle specifies the angle of the horizontal line of objects. There will be one line of the pattern where all the copies are placed on a straight line. And this would be the angle right now that's through the center of this oval. This is the baseline of the pattern. When the start angle is changed, the straight line of objects changes position and it is rotating around the shape. The steps define the number of copies in the first circle from the center. So that would be this circle right here. And as you can see, the step is six. The next circle increases by the same number of steps. So the second circle has 12 copies around it. A step of eight would have eight copies of an object in the first circle, then 16 in the next. These objects are then evenly spaced around the circle. You can also use node editing. So when I select that and uncheck edit outline, three nodes will appear. Control one specifies the position of the first object that will be repeated. So as I move the position of that first object, the array repopulates. All other objects are placed based on the position of this first object. This changes the center of the circle. There is no numeric way to change this. It must be done in mode editing. Control 2 influences the start angle. And node 3 will determine the number of steps. If I want to change the start angle, I can click and drag on node two. If I want to change the number of steps, I click and drag on node three. And you can see the steps updated. The distance between one and two will determine the spacing. This is based on the distance between the imaginary rectangle that would surround the object. So you can change mathematically or you can use node editing to change the array visually.